What's up guys, this is Sunny back with another video and today real quick I'm going to share with you guys how to create a macOS Catalina 10.15.4 bootable USB drive with open core 0.5.8. Yes, the latest and greatest and this was released like 7 hours ago. So let's jump in and show you guys if you have a Intel 300 series uh, motherboard, okay, this guide should work for you. So you guys can see I have two folder here, one for AMD Ryzen and one for Intel. So I will also have the AMD bootable USB drive uh, guide also, but let's start with the Intel one. So let's open this folder, okay? And you guys can see I have uh, everything I need for this uh, guide in this folder. So I'll just um, drag and I'll drop these on my uh, desktop, just like this, all right? After that, we need to format our uh, USB uh, pen drive. If you have a USB drive 3.0, your process will be a lot faster compared to USB 2.0. Now in this video, I'm not going to show you guys how to uh, generate uh, UUID or uh, serial number or MLB number. You can do that by using Gen SM BIOS. So let's just jump in and show you guys how to create the bootable drive. So let's format the USB pen drive. You can go with eight gig or 16 gig. I have a 16 gig pen drive USB 3.0. So let's open man pump. So you can type your CMD, right click on command pump, run as admin, yes. And here you can type disk part, enter, list disk, okay and make sure you format the right drive so you guys can see i have disk uh, 2 here that's my usb pen drive 14 gig don't worry about all this uh, no media stuff right here uh, basically i have a usb uh, hub connected that's why so select disk 2 enter clean okay create primary enter and then let's format now so format FS well FAT32 should be fine quick enter all right so we are done with the formatting and now we need to open uh, Gib Mac OS right here. So let's open Gib Mac OS. Go to Gib Mac OS dash master. All right. And then you guys can see here Gib Mac OS dot bat. So right click, run as admin. Yes. Now you need to uh, download Python 3. So you can download Python 3 from this window here. So just type Y, enter. So basically what it's doing right now, downloading Python uh, and then also uh, creating the path. All right. So now we are uh, done downloading Python and also uh, the path is created. So let's uh, type R here for just the recovery part of macOS Cat Catalina 10.15.4. So we typed here R, enter. Now if we go up, uh, you guys can see here number six, macOS Catalina 10.15.4. So we need the full install recovery, okay? Just the recovery. So we can type here number six, six, enter. And right now what it's basically doing, uh, give macOS is downloading the macOS Catalina 10.15.4, uh, just the recovery part, okay? I do need internet for this installation and also downloading uh, this recovery part. All right, we are done here. You can press enter, close this. 
Now let's open make install.bat. Right click, run as admin, yes. Now when you open this, you see you get an error. Couldn't locate DDR release 64.exe. Now we need to fix this, okay? So we can close this, go to script, and you guys can see here we have a DDR release 64. Don't worry, you'll find everything in the video description. You can just drag and drop this in the Gib Mac OS script folder. All right, we can go back and then again, right click on make install.bat, run as admin. All right, the problem fixed. And now you guys can see I have a bunch of drives here. Uh, so right here, number two, you guys can see that's my uh, Kingstone Data Traveler uh, 3.0 USB drive. So I'll pick number two. So enter here number two and then O for open core. Okay. So O, not zero. Remember O and then enter. Y for yes, enter. All right. So basically right now, uh, we have to find the path for our uh, recovery part we just downloaded. So you guys can see here uh, inside our give Mac OS dash master folder, we have a new folder called Mac OS download. So we can open this, open the public release, open this. And you guys can see we have here recovery HD meta DMG dot package. We can click on this, go to home and copy path and then right click on this uh, make install window and paste it, enter. Now this part right here will take at least 10 to 15 minutes. So have patient and I'll be back after this part is done. All right, so we are done installing open core uh, bootloader to our USB drive. So we can press enter. All right, and we can close all this. Now we can go to this PC and open our USB pen drive. You guys can see boot. So you can open this, go to EFI OC folder. All right, now we need ACPI. We need, uh, don't worry about bootstrap. Uh, drivers, we need uh, kicks. Uh, tools we can delete all this we don't really need yes and also we need a config playlist right so I have everything here pre-configured I have a pre-configured config playlist okay so we can just drag and drop this config playlist here like so and now uh, we can open the ACPI folder okay can copy this uh, SSDT. Okay, you can just drag and drop. Now this SSDT should work with uh, your uh, Intel 300 series chipset. So you can close this ACPA folder, uh, then go to drivers folder. Now from here, we only need uh, open runtime. We can delete everything else. Okay, so let me open our drivers folder here and we need APFS driver loader and we need VVox HFS. All right. Okay, now you can go to Kix folder and open our Kix folder also and just drag and drop our Kix from our Kix folder to our USB drive also. All right. All right, so we are done with this. Now, basically we have everything here. We just need to uh, open our config playlist with proper tree. We need to take the OC snapshot. So let's open uh, proper tree, proper tree, uh, proper tree dot bat. Go to file, open, and go to our USB drive named boot. Go to EFI, OC, and open our config playlist here. Uh, now, let's take a quick OC snapshot. Okay, make sure you are in your uh, USB boot drive. 
okay efi oc folder select folder all right so we are done with uh, C snapshot and now we'll save it but before that i want to show you guys some stuff here all right let me just make it a little big okay so if you go to nvrm here right so under nvrm you guys can see here we have minus v for the verbose mode if you want to see the text whatever is going on while installing or while you booting your uh, system uh, i don't really need this so i'll just delete this and also if you have a navi base graphics card then you need uh, this boot arg argument right here all right i don't have right now i'm running rx 570 so i don't need this uh, boot org so i can just delete this enter and if we go under platform info all right under platform info you guys can see i already have the profile uh, set uh, i have imac uh, 19 comma 1 works perfect with coffee lake cpu and then please generate your own system uuid and mlv and the serial number using gen sm bios okay uh, do not copy this serial number okay don't ever copy anyone else's serial number or anything All right so now we can just save and close this all right guys that should be it now you can plug this usb pen drive to your intel uh, 300 series chipset computer motherboard and then you can install mac os catalina with open core uh, 0.5.8 so guys if you do like this video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned